Hi guys, it's Greg and it's day 14 of my Body Beast Hybrid. And today is my rest day. And I want to take this opportunity to answer one of the most common questions that I get. What do I use for equipment to start Body Beast? As you can see, I'm sitting in a pool of weights here. We have a wide variety of... It's such a nice thing to look at. You know you're a geek when you look at a set of weights like this and you really get all excited. But I have 5 8s all the way up to 35s. This is uh, 15, and these are little 8s. But I've accumulated these over time, so they do get expensive if you're adding or buying them all at the same time. The other option is to, when you first want to get started, you could, you could also start with the bands. These are about $30 or so to get started, which is pretty inexpensive. But you're not going to get the same results as when you move into more of the dumbbell. Your other option is a Select Tech. That's one of the brands. It's a dumbbell with interchangeable weights and it allows you to just have two sets of dumbbell or one set of dumbbells and you can change the weights around very easily. It's a little clunkier than the dumbbells like this, but they take up less space and they're, they give you a wide variety of actual pounds that you can switch to very easily. Next, you will need a pull-up bar. I have a couple options that I use. This is the Beachbody pull-up bar that goes over the door frame. This is actually very sturdy, and it works really well. So you just need a door frame to put this on. And in my basement here, my ceiling is too low, so it doesn't fit over there. But I use this upstairs. What I use for my workouts is I actually go in another room, so there's no excuses. I hit pause, I go in another room, and I have a pull-up bar into the joist of my ceiling that seems to work pretty well. I've been using that for a couple of years or more already. So, and I haven't pulled it out of the, the ceiling, so it works well. And then I also use the other uh, Beachbody one when I'm on the other level of the house. As you are working on increasing your pull-ups, you'll come to a point where you get exhausted and you can't pull yourself up anymore, or failure, and you want to do negatives or, or even use a chair. But what I just started doing is using this pull-up assist. You put your foot in here and this goes over the bar and it gives you that extra stability to pull yourself up. And that's where you'll see gains and improvements is doing this versus just stopping when you can't get yourself up anymore and just hanging in there. One other item you'll need is a bar with weights. This is the Les Mills pump bar and weights. This is it works pretty well so far for me. The only difference is the easy bar that Body Beast recommends has a little bit different bar. There's a curve to it and it's more of a handle on it. But so far this is working pretty well for me and I already have it so I've been sticking with that. The other thing you'll need is a bench and what I'm using right now is the Les Mills pump bench that I used when I just finished the Les Mills pump. And I also am using the stability ball because this is from P90X2 and I just finished that a little while back. So I already have this equipment, I'm using that. But I am also looking at buying myself a bench so I can have a nice incline and a decline. Something really simple that's not real bulky but just keep adding and adding to my repertoire of, of weights and equipment. And every time I'm taking it one step higher, it's just that much better for me to make those improvements in muscle gains. And the last piece is probably not a huge requirement, but you want some type of uh, jumping mat or so. This is a foam interchangeable square that gets it from Target or somewhere. I have two of these and I just lock them together, pull it right out from underneath the TV, and I use this for stretching or different moves on the ground because I don't want to be on this hard corked floor. It's softer than you would think. but And that works really well and then they're easy to clean too, so it works. So there you have it, that's day 14 of the Body Beast Hybrid. Don't get overwhelmed with the equipment needed. If you need to start with uh, the bands, do that. And then slowly add in the Select Tex or the Dumbbell and just kind of keep adding to your equipment list. Over time, you'll be sitting in a little
pool of weights and benches and medicine balls and everything else, but it's kind of a cool thing. I love this stuff. <laughs> we'll talk soon. Tomorrow is the start of week three, and I'm not even sure what I have on the calendar, but I'm pretty excited to jump in. It's the last phase, last week of this phase, and then we move into the bulk and then also the beast. Talk soon.